got errors. These are the most common errors when a service is missing. Zero X eight zero zero seven zero four two six stands for absence of a necessary service to run. Maybe the service is missing or it's just disabled. To fix it, go to the services menu, scroll all the way down to Microsoft Account Sign-in Assistant and it's disabled. Click it, stand select, manual and apply. Click start. Now you're able again to access your accounts. And use your PC as normal as usual. If this service already was on manual and you found it, go to the settings. Click on apps. Search for, for the Microsoft Store. Click on Advanced Options and select Reset and Repair. If that didn't work, go to Windows Update. Search for Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooters and open the Windows Update Troubleshoot. If that didn't found anything, go to Microsoft Store Apps, Network Adapter, and Internet Connection. The second fix is, if you have Windows Live ID sign-in assistant installed, then uninstall it. But if you don't have it and it's just broken, go to the registry, HKey Local Machine System, Current control set services. WLID service. If that's if this folder is even missing, your PC might be very corrupted. But you but more about that later. Here is the information of the service normally. So we can check another one with USB. It says start type owners image path, display names, the, and the description of the service. This all need to exist to the so the services menu can show them so we can change their state either and run them. If WLID SVC is missing or just broken, go into the folder I put in the description as zip and you find this WLID fix. Double click it and select yes. Select yes. It may display errors when it's only corrupted, but when we look up, we see it's got it got repaired. So, if even the data on the Windows System32 folder is missing, we have a few files here. And if they're missing, you just, you just run this batch file as an administrator. And then it copies the files from this folder again to your Windows. But beware, this folder 
must be on the desktop. It must be on your desktop for the batch file to run. Otherwise, you need to copy these elements and drag them to the system32 folder. If even another thing is corrupted, here is a working SVC host and is MUI file. So if the registry is no more corrupted, just restart your computer. So if you're logged in again, click again to the services menu and just check it. Normally, the account sign in my bad my registry file also restores the state, so it manual trigger start and everything. My thing should restore, but it, that's not the case. Go into the properties of the program and set it again to manual and run it. But in this case, my file already did it.